as a member in the order as a member in the order of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence the rise of uh, the persecution of Christians, the rise of anti-Semitism in the world has been very noticeable in the last decade. It's far more extreme in other countries, particularly in the Middle East, where Christians are put to death just because of their beliefs. Uh, but I think over time, some of the sentiments that drove that very extreme behavior in other countries it, are beginning to creep in here. You see enormous evidence of anti-Semitism in American colleges today. Declarations by colleges that Zionists will not be allowed to speak on campus something that we could only imagine Hitler would declare 50, 60, 70, 80 years ago. All of that extremism here is uh, often tempered by the good values we have, by the court system we have, that often overrules bad judgments in college campuses. Uh, but the sentiments that have driven a much more violent extremist crackdown on Christianity and Judaism around the world are becoming more prevalent here. Sentiments are. And there is a moment in our history right now where we have to teach our next generations of Americans the values of tolerance, the values of faith, the values of freedom. And I think right now we're, we're, we've created one or two generations of Americans that have a high degree of intolerance. And that intolerance is now beginning to manifest itself in the form of bigotry, in hatred, uh, in anti-Christian bias, in, in anti-Semitism. And I think while Christians and Jews here face a lot less extreme threats, as we might see elsewhere in the world, the sentiments are now turning that way in this country.